Hey everybody! Hello, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you might be. Hope everyone's doing well. When you get here, say hi, tell us where you are. Yes. Let's see, who do we got? Who do we got? I'm gonna. Is it me or are we blurry? I don't know. Maybe we're blurry. Hey, can't are we blurry? It's so hard to tell. So hard to tell. That's not. That looks like it's in crystal clear. Crystal clear. All right, we've got everybody. We got Facebook and YouTube. I've got Kieran, Aloha, Barbie, surprise. It's June. Hi, June. And Tony and Angela. Come on, Wendy. Hello. Arizona. Hi, Beth. Hey everyone. Huh. All right, we're gonna dive right in. Yes, we will. Um, I did a lot of prep work for this project, so you guys didn't have to watch literally paint dry. But we'll go through everything. Um, first of all, thank you for everyone who joined us last Friday. We made the door hanger with the animals. Yeah. It is up on our Etsy store. All of our artwork now goes up on our Etsy store. Mm -hmm. And if you find a piece of artwork you love, but it's a little bit out of your price range, always reach out to us. We like to work with people and get artwork where it will be appreciated. We're not um, now. Oh, okay. We look a little too uh, if you hear us crunching, I am doing quality control on our freeze-dried Skittles. Um, these hopefully will launch this Friday on our Etsy store. So if you are... Um, Waiting for that. Make sure to follow our Etsy store. We do expect to sell out. Here's the mm -hmm. deal. I did not think so many people would be interested in these. And we've been making them. Um, we're still waiting for packing supplies and all that stuff. Um, so if they sell out, just know we're making more. And hopefully this turns into a big full-time business for Mr. Sean McCoy. Uh, we've learned a lot. Like yes. we are going to... Um, we are now actually making our Skittles in Idaho because their cottage laws are way better. Um, and we contacted an attorney. We want to make sure we're on the up and up. Um, and as long as we manufacture them in Idaho and ship from there, we're good. Mm -hmm. Washington, it's very strict. Very strict. Very bad. I can't handle that. No. Anywho, uh, <laughs> more on that. Um, hopefully there'll be a Ken from the car on my sister channel tomorrow. We'll talk more about our freeze dried Skittles, but... I'm super excited. But let's talk about Chalk Couture. If you're yes. new to Chalk Couture, welcome. Please share this live on your YouTube or Facebook or wherever because we want to make sure everyone has crafty inspiration at all times. As we get back into the swing of things, just to let you know, our lives for Chalk Couture are Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then once our uh, freeze dry business kind of takes off and is on a kind of maintenance schedule, we are gonna start doing short form videos, three minutes and under for our TikTok and Facebook Reels. That's gonna focus around tips, techniques, quick projects, how to do things. So make sure you like all of our social media channels um, and follow us. But if you've been following us and you love Chalk Couture, I know a lot of you may have already purchased from us, but the best way to experience Chalk Couture is with a discount. And you can do that a couple different ways. You could be a club member or join our team. Now, I personally think joining our team is the best way to experience Chalk Couture because you will get the best discount. Mm -hmm. So we'll go over all of that, but first let's talk about Club Couture. Club Couture is Happy Meal every single month. Anyone can join Club Couture, and with Club Couture you get exclusive benefits like an exclusive transfer that you can only get as a club member or as a team member. You get three pay singles, you get amazing promotions from Chalk Couture, and we like to spoil our Club Couture members with some exclusive perks like exclusive discounts, mystery boxes, happy mail every quarter, an exclusive live where we show you that month's transfer three different ways, then we give away that, and a community where you can come together and have fun with other Chalk Couture enthusiasts. So if you are interested in joining, check the links down below. If you're on YouTube, they're underneath the description. Just hit see more under there and everything will be there. There is join or if you have more questions on becoming a club member, there's an FAQ. Now, if you're on Facebook, instead of giving all that links in the description, we actually have a hashtag, hashtag gnomes, hashtag gnomes on Facebook. We will send you a private message through Messenger and that will have all of your links that we're discussing today. Now, speaking of Club Couture, let's take a peek at our Club Couture. This month we're in March, so if you sign up as a club member, you're gonna get the Botanicals Club Couture. The Club Couture March oh, transfer, sorry guys. 
So the March transfer is Botanicals. You're gonna get this exclusive B-size transfer, three paste singles, which is Camel, Papaya, and Shimmer Melon. This is such a cool transfer. I've already used it tons. And if you are like me and like coordinating stuff, boy, do I have you covered. On our Etsy store, we have both a digital file for those of you who either have a Glowforge, a Cricut, a Silhouette, anything because remember we have that chalk suede cardstock now which is the stuff that we made the animals on and this butterfly and um you can get the svg on our etsy store the botanicals svg the red lines is the cut line so you can see i gave you a couple of different options one with flowers attached one with flowers detached but if you want us to do the work that is what we are here for we have the botanicals cut out in three different versions on our Etsy store so you can check that out as well. Now in April, I cannot wait for you guys to see the April transfer. So in April, a couple things are coming to you guys that I cannot wait. So first of all, this month, if you're a Club Couture member, not only are you going to get the Botanicals transfer, but you're also going to get our product reference guide. We heard you loud and clear. You guys miss a catalog. And even though a catalog is not coming back, the product reference guide will be printed out for you. This has all of our current transfers that are being featured in the spring 2023 collection. It gives you the size, what the transfer is. It gives you inspiration, all of the paste colors. You get all of everything basically that would be featured in a catalog. Now this is free to Club Couture members and you will get this every time we have a release. It's nice, stapled, printed. It will come with this month's transfer. But in April, if you're a Club Couture member, you're going to get the Farm Fresh transfer. The April transfer features a adorable little pig and chicken that says Farm Fresh Organic. Oops. You're gonna get bark, sage and black velvet that's done on an eight or a nine by 12 palette frame i actually got the transfer today here it is right here super cute and i've cr already created an svg to coordinate with this so the um uh it's that one right there farm fresh organic oh, svg He'll get used to it. He's going to get back in the swing, you guys. I promise. <laughs> so this one comes with a ton of different cutouts. You can see it in the red. I wanted to give you guys so many options to use this transfer because I think this transfer is so versatile and adorable. That SVG is already up on our Etsy store. I will be doing cutouts here soon, and that will also be on our Etsy store. So that is the first way to experience Chalk Couture is Club Couture. And you'll get exclusive promotions, which we'll talk here in about a second. Now, if you love Chalk Couture, you already know that you are going to buy all the things you want to join as a designer. A couple cool things. If you're a club member, you can join as a designer at any time. But if you're ready to dive in and save the most money and get free product, I would join as a designer. There is two ways to join. Actually, three ways. The first way is you can just pay $9.99 and get access right away. You won't get any product, but it gets you the discount right away. However, I like to join with a kit. And there's two different kits. Now, the first kit is our Easter Perks Pack Plus. Now, this one's kind of cool because it does feature the Cottontail Spring Market and the Cottontail Spring Market cutout. That's the little bunny you see there in white. You can only get these two right now in the Easter 2023 Perks Pack while supplies last when this is gone it is gone it is a 252 value and you get it for just 99 dollars. you get everything you see on the screen this is a great way to join if you want that bunny but if you don't want the bunny let me tell you look at the march spring perks pack this kit blows me away every time i see it you get everything to create paste projects you get everything to create ink projects you get a ton of surfaces you get transfers this has a 317 value for just 99 dollars. this is the one i would sign up for and the reason why is because you have everything to create paste project you have everything to create ink project it is all there for just 99 dollars, and you get the 40 percent off and you get free product every month it is an amazing way to experience chocolate tour and Either way, Club Couture, or if you join as a designer, we would love for you to be on our team and get you into our exclusive communities. All right, now that I've experienced how you can create Chalk Couture, 
I want to show you some perks this month. This month is Transfer Palooza. It is buy three transfers, get one free, no limits all month of March. This is the month to stock up on your transfers, especially if you're a Club Couture member, because we do combine our exclusive perks your club to remember you know what I'm talking about with this so you can save even more and club to members also have a perk where if they spend a hundred dollars on transfer this month not only do they get the buy three get one free they also get a fuzzing cloth and transfer tote exclusive for club to members this is a huge perk so you definitely want to take advantage of that now another promotion this month is color of the month and color of the month is awesome because it's an exclusive color that is only available during the month. Last month we had a dream car, which is a beautiful hot pink. It sold out in a week and everyone is like, how do I get my hands on it? This month we got Academia. Now, at first I was like, Ooh, it's a little too close for Tide. So guess what, peeps? I have some stuff to show you. Now, the color of the month you can get it. You spend $75 on our retail site. If you're a designer, $45. It unlocks the ability to buy up to three color of the month's academia. It is still available, but once it is sold out, it is gone. Now, just to show you here, we have the colors. We have academia and tide next to each other. So you can see it is definitely darker. It's got more of a navy color tone. Um, I would say it's a good five to six shades darker. Let me open it up so you can see inside. Once again, we have Tide on the left and Academia on the right. So you can see there. And I took it a step further to show you what it would look like on both dark and light. And it is kind of hard to see on the screen, but Tide is on the top. Academia is on the bottom. You can see how it ombres into the darker color so it definitely is darker what do you think sean it is it is definitely darker it definitely is a bluer color than tide um it's almost like real tide yeah it is almost. <laughs> if i was going to grab a tide pod and bring it down i bet you it's that color yeah <laughs> so i actually like it better than tide it's it's very on trend. I did some research on it and this is a very big trendy color in design. Mm. So do not delay. I think now that people are getting the academia, I think it's going to be a very popular color and I think we're going to see a sellout. And once mm. it's out, it's out of stock. Remember color of the month always debuts on the first of the month. Get it while you can. So far, I'm going to be keeping um, one of each color just to show you this is what we have so far. So I'm interested to see what our next color will be. Very exciting, though. All right, so before we dive in the project, any questions, Shawnee? Um, uh -oh. Jen was just saying she loves our sheep behind me. Is there an Etsy in our Etsy store? Yes. It is. It is. We have both the cutout and the digital file. Yes. All right. Today, you guys, I'm so excited. So some of you may or may not know, I have an unhealthy obsession with gnomes. I love them. I need all of them. They bring me happiness. They bring me joy. And this month, or this release, they released something called Family of Gnomes. Um, it is a C-size transfer. It's 12 by 18. The interesting thing about this is it did have uh, chalkable shapes that were released. For those of you who don't know, Chalk Tour released something called Chalkable Shapes, which are a chalkboard that is cut in the shape of certain transfers. These sold out so quick, it wasn't even funny. Um, so you can't unfortunately get them right now, but I have you covered. So with this transfer, I've created an SVG, Family of Gnomes SVG, which comes with everything you need to cut out your gnomes. You can cut them out on the Glowforge, Cricut, Silhouette. Once again, if you use our Chalk Suede cardstock, you can cut all of these guys out. And that, that stuff is amazing. It chalks beautifully. I love this stuff. But if you want to take it a step further and want us to cut it out, we do have the Family of Gnomes cutouts. This comes with, as you can see, 16 cutouts. You get all seven of the gnomes. You get four for the hanging with my gnomies, and then you get five flowers. And that's what we're going to be using tonight. This project, I'm super excited. We're using the transfer, family of gnomes, the cutouts, and we're using a wide variety of box frames to put <clears throat> all of your cutouts in. So I do have a supply list down below on YouTube. Just look for the supplies. 
or if you're on Facebook, just look for gnomes. Now, I've saved you guys. Ooh, I think one of our dogs farted. Or Sean farted. Could be both. All right. So, I went ahead and took the liberty of painting my wood cutouts. What I did on the wood cutouts is I painted it white and then did a little distress using Dixie Bell paint. You can see it's got kind of a, instead of white, a little bit of a khaki color. Then what I did is I took my transfer, just a sec, I think my dog has Sierra. You don't need that. Here you go, baby girl. There you go. Sorry. Um, that's all we need is the dog to eat plastic. Uh, I then went ahead and took my transfer and pasted it in white and then took different paint colors. You can use Chalkology paste and painted the base of the colors what I wanted because the transfer will cover part of this. So I went ahead and did that. If you want to know the colors, I have all the colors in front of me. Um, it didn't take too long. It just, you know dry a couple different coats. And now what we can do is just lay our transfers directly over this and get a really cool look. Now, the interesting thing about this transfer is they didn't give us cut lines, which is very bizarre. bizarre. Now, for my project, I am using the dog. However, um, let me show you kind of what frames I'm using. So we're gonna be using a six by 18, a nine by nine, and a five by seven for the dog. However, if you're using the cat, cause you're a cat person, I would use the five by five with a couple different flowers. Um, but we, we don't have cats, so we're not gonna be doing that. I'm gonna put these box frames for now off to the side. And then we're gonna grab the colors that we're actually gonna be pasting these in. So it depends on what, oh no. Good thing I didn't throw it, throw away. Okay, my reference sheet. So we're gonna be using four paste colors, Current Jam, Orange Peel, I'm going to use Pesto, Shimmer Harvest, Camel, and then I think that's it. Yeah. And then I also have paint if I want to do some touch-ups. Now the idea is once we actually put the transfer on here and use all of these different paste, these should pop out with the outlines. Um, first thing though I want to do is make sure all of my paste is ready to go. What consistency are we looking for, Shawnee? Kind of like sour cream, maybe a yogurt type of thing. I uh, like to use um, these. What are these, Sean? These are what? These are called our all pur um, multi -tool. multi purpose. I'm going to say all, but multi-purpose tool. You have a kind of a hockey end, hockey stick end, and a straight end. This one can be used as a small squeegee. Hi, little girl. And the other one is great for cleaning up your... Hey, hey, hey! Sierra, calm down. Cleaning up the uh, side of the jars, edges, and stuff like that. Sorry to freak out. Sometimes Riles comes and gets us right before she has a seizure, and Sierra freaks out, so I have to yep. make sure she's okay. Will you go let Hunter in? Yeah. So I am just trying to get my paste to a good consistency here. The number one reason people have issues with our product that sometimes they'll say, oh, uh, your transfer bled or why did this not come out with clean lines? A lot of people want to blame the transfer. They think it's transfer. It's usually your paste and it's usually that your paste is um, too thin. A lot of people say, oh, it's too thick. That's why it's really important to always kind of test your paste to make sure you have a good consistency. Like Sean said, we like to go for a little bit of kind of a yogurt, -y a yogurt consistency. Creamy. So I always take the time just to make sure we're ready to go. Especially on something like this because we're gonna be using a couple different colors on each gnome. It's not always gonna be, some of them are gonna have the top half be a different color than the bottom half. So 
Um, Kimberly, you are not losing your mind. There is music in the background. Sean likes music played yeah. in the background. When we have a lull and there's no one talking, it's nice to have something better. He doesn't like it. I need a multi-tool. All cool. right. So I'm going to start with the dog. Now, our new transfers, these things are so cool because you no longer need a bright pad to line them up. What for the dog? I think I want to do... I'm going to do shimmer on the top, and I think I'm going to do, uh, you know what, that's so close in color, so I'm going to do bark on the bottom to really make it, really make it pop out. And we'll zoom in here in a sec so you can see it. Somebody asked me what this shirt is. This is a Roosevelt, R-S-L-V-T-S, did I say that right? RSVTLS.com. Yeah, they have tons of different types of shirts. A lot of, um, uh, what do you call these? Um, a lot of licenses. Licenses. And Star Wars is one of them. Yes. All right. So I'm going to start, like I said, with the dog. And I don't know why they didn't give us good cut lines on these. They just didn't. Um, I don't think you got any cut lines. No. So I'm going to go ahead and line it up. And I'm lining it up basically with the white. That's why I actually painted these with a little bit different color than just white so I could line up my lines. We're just gonna push it down nice and secure. And I'm gonna be using the bark on the bottom. And I think I'm gonna use the shimmer. Harvest? Yeah, let me I'm see if I have a new shimmer harvest. This one's almost done. Yeah, but is it really glittery or no? It looks, I don't know. Let me it look at it. Hmm. These could probably combine, be combined. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to grab a couple of different tools here. So let's start. So I want the brown to go all the way up, and then we're going to do shimmer on the top. Shimmer takes a little longer to dry, so I'm going to start with that. Riley's doing quite well. She's healing still uh, from her last uh, little injury from her poor daughter. But um, she's doing good. We just always have to keep an eye out for her. Mm -hmm. She had a little tiny twitch seizure this morning, but it was like two twitches and it was done. Sometimes I think some, if something gets her really excited or just something that startles her, something that kind of a... Seizure pops in, but hello, Angela. Welcome. And then anywhere we have a little bit of white, we are going to go back and touch up with a little um, paintbrush. So Sean can dry that real quick. Yep. To me, it almost looks like it's a cartoon. It's like it's a hand-drawn cartoon. I like it. I, I, oh, you I, like it with the little I light? love it. I think it looks awesome. It does look cute. I don't know. Maybe I'll fill it in. Not sure. Not sure. Not sure. We'll zoom in just so you can see that nice shimmer. There it is. See the sparkly. I don't know if I like it. Like the cartoon. I guess you're right. It kind of does give it a little bit of a cartoony and drawn yeah but there is some areas that he do want let's see here 
Where's my... When did you, did you put away my paintbrushes? Yeah, you yeah, did. I put them all away. Sorry. All right, so this is kind of what I was talking about. My brown was still too thick, and you can tell because it didn't get a good transfer. So I'm just going to go in, and I like the cartoony look. Sean's right, but I don't want that brown to have those little things. So I'm going to go in and just kind of touch up. Hey, hey, Janessa. And then before I use brown again, I will have Sean... Spray it and get some. Oops, put that a little better. So basically, that's what I would do. I'll go back and touch it up before we do it. And Sean's gonna go ahead and mix it right now. I'm gonna get our next gnome going, which I think I'm gonna start with this chick. Isn't she cute? The chick. And chick. And I'm going to be using Current Jam with her. So I'm going to make sure Current Jam is good. For those who do add water or have never added water to this, be very careful because it, it'll slop on you and splash right out of the jar. Yeah, this, this new paste, um, especially... It's almost like when you first put water in, it almost feels like it's separated from it. It's almost like it's vinyl feeling. And then um, it will splash. I've ruined projects that way, sadly. So be very careful. But once it gets going, once it gets stirred up, it uh, uh, it gets all... Uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Reconstituted. Uh, yeah, that wasn't a word. There was another word I was thinking oh. of. But that worked. So this one, I think I'm going to do, just do all this beautiful current jam. I'm going to squeeze in and grab a... Oh my goodness. Oh, that's gorgeous. She's so cute. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to hey. go ahead and clean this. Give this a quick dry. Hello, Tamara. kind of like this cartoon look it's giving me. I know. I really do too. Even like in the red and stuff, it gives it this kind of... Hand-drawn cartoon. Yeah, I like it. Okay, let's go to our next guy. Let's do the next girl. Girls first. And this one I'm oh. going to be doing, we check this one, mm -hmm. I'm going to be using pesto on her... Now, because I had there was no cut lines per se, um, I had to cut some of these pretty close, and you'll see some of my wood is exposed. So, anytime you have that placement tape, is your best friend. So I'm just going to use a little bit of placement tape so I don't get 
because I designed my files with a little bit of an offset. All right. So once again, I'm just using pesto on this. So we're hoping Friday, guys, for the Skittles. It all comes down, we're waiting on packaging and labels. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I just can't with these. I really do kind of like this cartoony look it's given me. I do me. too. I'm I didn't think you. I was. It's cute. Put that over there. Not sure which one's next. We'll have to see, wait and see here. Where's my, oh, there they are. Gotta clean the edges. All right. Thanks, honey. Mm -hmm. Let's do this guy next. So this guy I'm going to use both shimmer and current jam. Let's do, where's he? He's right here. Surprised you kept the eyes Ooh. asked Beth though. Yeah, I know. They're teeny tiny, but they're not as bad. Do you want to come down on this? Yes. Janet is in here, Miss Allie. At least she was earlier. Riley's doing well, Janessa. It would be you, Miss Janet. Pono y Moana. She's talking about these guys.
Cute, cute, cute. I didn't think I was gonna like this cartoon look. I, I would. I, I normally would have wanted to, you know, fix them all. But you're right. They're kind of cute. It's kind of cute, love. All right. So this guy. Ooh, I think I'm gonna use sage and camel. Ooh, my sage. I probably need a new one. Sage. I like this guy because he's got a big old beard. So I think I want to do sage and then the camel on the bottom. So I'll do sage right to there. Look how cute. goodness these are so cute I have to say normally I wouldn't like how it's a little off and the lines aren't perfect but it is it's kind of giving it a you're right like a little cartoony look what do you think do you like it I'm liking it very much okay so this one has a lot of dots so we're gonna be using a lot of different colors on this cutie patootie Welcome, Evelyn. First time from Puerto Rico. They look kind of like 70s retro. Oh, kind of. This guy is very tall. Very yes. tall hat. I wonder who went with that when they were designing this going, ooh, we need tall hat on this guy. So on the bottom on this one, I think I'm gonna do khaki and then or camel, and then I'm gonna do a whole bunch of different colors on the the, the hat. The hat. So we'll start with the camel. Reminds me of the kid wearing the dunce hat in, in school. It's a very tall one, I'll tell you that. Ooh. 
Okay, so for this, I'm going to do... Red. Where else should I do a red? Maybe on this one. Maybe do a sage color down here. How did you line up the first layer of chalk? What do you mean? He first we painted the uh, the uh, cutout white with a little, actually a little off white, and then he took. The very um, transfer you're seeing now and did that in white. Oh, I see what you're saying. And then yeah. once that was dry, then he started um, painting the parts that he wanted in, in color. And now he's using the transfer again, but using colored chalk, different colors to place the lines because you obviously want to see those. The white just allows you to see where you need to paint. guy is he is 13 and a half inches tall <laughs> all right so we can cover up the pace for now I'm gonna get my boards out I'm telling you guys normally this whole like look would bug me but Sean has a point it's kind of a it's cute it's a cartoony look yep so I went ahead and turned on my hot glue gun and then as it heats up I'll kind of show you the placement Oh, I got to do my flower. The flower. All right. So we're doing the big flower, which is this guy right here. Take my transfer trimmers. These have cut lines. Yeah, they gave us cut lines on this. <clears throat> Cute. And then 
last but not least, I have the sentiment hanging with my noise. So we have the hanging. with my and I'm just going to be using camel again to match the, you know, I might use camel and a little bark. You guys, anybody on TikTok watch Jasper the doll? I'm obsessed with her. She's a little kooky. It's a Barbie doll that has seen better days. And a lady does this voice and it's hilarious. I can't with it. Ooh, I like those colors. Here, Sean. All right. My glue gun is nice and on, so we can now go ahead and start. We'll start with these guys since it's out. Now you could also use our magnets if you wanted to on this. This guy's gonna go right here. Can you give me another glue stick? Mm -hmm. Remember, if you have a cat instead of a dog, I would use a five by five and then the two other little flowers. I think that would be kind of cute. Mm -hmm. Love your color choices, says Jen. Can you uh, zoom out a little bit? Mm -hmm. Did 
Do we like it looking like that? Or should I do hanging with, oh yeah, I like that better, okay. Do you think I should make their eyes black or do little buttons or no? Nope, that'll throw it off. we go what do you think mad is adorable isn't it cute i love it i really do like this cartoonish look i didn't think i would mm -hmm. to me it looks like it's sloppy but his eyes definitely need to be black i'm gonna just fix his <laughs> what fix who that one the one guy because his are not good I'm just going to fix his. Because you can't really see where his eyes... Can't see definition of the eye. There we go. That's better. Oh my goodness! What do you think? I love it. You don't mind the, the messy lines and stuff? No, not at all. You think it looks like it's a it cartoon, looks, right? It's a hand-drawn cartoon, yeah. Absolutely. Oh my goodness, I love it. What do you guys think? You remind me of the Weebles. The who? Weebles. Oh yeah! Weeble wobbles and they don't fall down. Oh yeah, I remember those. There we go. His eyes look much better now, a little defined. Except for this one's smaller than the other. Do you think his eyes need to be a little defined? I do. You do what you... You do you, boo. Yeah, I like the eyes black, so I'm gonna do their eyes black. See, doesn't their eyes look more defined now? Yes. That's better. It is a little better. They look like they're little stone gnomes. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute! They'll look really cute. Like, on a once you hang it up here, I'll do it this way so you guys okay. can see it. Need to zoom out and tilt up a little bit. It's so cute. I love it. Yep, so do I. I agree. It looks better with the black eyes. Stone gnomes. <laughs> Stone gnomes. <laughs> All right, guys. That is our project tonight. I hope you had fun. It will go up on our... Etsy store tomorrow if anyone's interested. We try to keep the prices reasonable and essentially we just try to recoup the surface cost at my discount. All of my past projects are also uploaded on Etsy. Don't forget you can get all the SVG cutouts on our Etsy store. Mm -hmm. Hopefully our freeze dried candy launches on Friday. And I'm trying my best to do a Ken from the car tomorrow on my sister channel, Ken's Creation. So yes. make sure uh, you check that out. But thank you guys so much for joining us. And we will be back on Thursday, Thursday with another Chalk Couture project. Once again, if you want any of the links, the supplies we used, if you're interested in Chalk Couture as a club member or a designer, 
on YouTube, look for the description down below. And on Facebook, just use hashtag gnomes and we will send you all the links we use tonight. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, everybody. Bye, everyone. Why am I not going? That is weird. <laughs> uh, We're going to be live forever now. No. Let's see. I think we can go. Looks like I can quit. Hmm. This is weird. I should have my whole thing should just pop up. All the freeze dried skills. Quality control. Hmm. Where is it? I do not know. I should just go to recording and is there something that says end? Nope. Hmm. They're very interesting. This is weird. Mm hmm. Edit. Mm hmm. Because I just quit. You just hit quit. Well. Yeah. In live session. <laughs>